All right, guys, how's it going today? Uh, we're going to, um, well, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a fan page to use for your online business. Um, I am Jonathan Glazer, and if you, before I start, if you haven't uh, watched the other videos on setting up a capture page and writing emails, um, I would go back and watch those first. Because uh, we're going to discuss how to uh, market those on your fan page that you're about to learn how to set up. Um, and one last thing, you, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any more training. So, that being said, we are going to get on way here. Um, um, so, to create a fan page, uh, you're going to find find it on your left side panel. All the way over here and you'll see a little orange plus sign that says create page you're gonna click there and then you will choose which business uh, you want to represent so if you have a local business you'll click that if it's a, a company organization uh, you will click there um, you know, you, it pretty much says for itself. Um, so I'm thinking uh, we'll go with community uh, for what I'm gonna do. But if you want, you can do company too. If you want, if you have your own company LLC or anything like that, you know, or you know, if you represent you you as your company, you can do that too. So. Uh, but I'm actually going to set up another fan page for a specific niche, the make make money online niche. So I'm, I'll just as I do it, you can see me see how I do it live. So all right, so it's that simple. Put your name, whatever you want to call it, there. You're, you know, you if you want, you can make it a personal page. If you have a you know business whatever, um, whatever you're doing, you can put it there. I would recommend uh, your you know your name. So it's uh, if you want to do it that way to brand yourself, you can do that. And I just wait for it to load, and you will put what it's about right there. Um, And I'll go back and actually re-edit it, but um, you know, um, you can just put uh, what what it is you do, um, whatever whatever you're trying to do to help people. You just put a brief uh, description there. Something like that. So grabs attention and uh, just tells people what to expect from your fan page. So um, you can add a you add your photo there or a photo that best represents your company. I'll go back and do that. And then uh, you're gonna want to. Add that to your favorites if you want. Uh, I recommend you do so that it's easy to access. And this part you don't have to worry about right now. We're going to do that on a separate, uh, a separate video, teach you how to how to do a like campaign, and uh, also how to run some ads off your fan page. So you, it's crucial if you want to do uh, Facebook. PPC ads that you um, set up a fan page. So you can skip this step for right now. We'll go back to that in another video. And also, if you want more training on that, um, 
you can click the link below or wherever you see the link and uh, you can get some more information on a very uh, exclusive uh, mastermind that will teach you all elements of internet marketing including how to properly do Facebook PPC so I highly recommend you check that out and uh, we'll skip that okay so next up you're going to want to put a photo um, banner up here that uh, you know, just describes your um, your company the best uh, you can actually go on Fiverr and and uh, find a graphic design artist to do that for you um, but let me see if I can get into uh, my file I'll give you an example of how they sh how effective one should look you want them to have a call to action in it that uh, tells your visitors what to do which is you want them to click on your um, call to action button so I should have one made up here Well, here's one that uh, I, I made. I actually didn't use it because I didn't like the way it looked. But you can see the button there. So we'll just go with that. Alright, so you can see that uh, there's a little arrow that points down to the call of action button. Now that's, that's uh, it's not necessary but it does increase your um, conversions when people come to your page they're gonna see that and they're gonna come over to the button and click it and this is this will be the next step you want to do set up your call to action button and depending on what it is uh, you are offering if it's a video you can that you want them to see you can click your video uh, if you want them to uh, sign up for something you can put that there and then your website will go there where you want them to go. So if you have a capture page, you're trying to capture leads, uh, you can put that there. So uh, it's very, very important that you do that. Because after all, you know you want you want people to engage, and you also want to uh, be building your list. So that's that's where you would put the actual. Um, capture page that you learned how to make in the previous videos and you can also promote the the button too but we'll get into that later right now we're just focusing on setting this up so you have all that done um, now you're gonna need to I recommend at least three to four uh, 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 posts that uh, provide value to your audience whoever you want uh, to be here so if you are doing um, uh, how to make money niche if you're promoting your um, specific company or anything you're promoting you would if you have a blog it would be great to promote your blog here or you can simply go to Google and uh, find relevant articles to upload to your page um, to keep a keep a steady news fleet feed going and keep your audience engaged so uh, let's go I like I like to uh, review tools so I, I'll normally find a article that uh, I know will my uh, audience will be interested in and will get value from so um, we'll just we'll just use this for now and 
just we'll post it right there. And just say a little thing. There we go, something, something like that. And then we'll come down here and we'll publish it. And you can also uh, schedule, schedule out posts. So if you don't have time to post every two hours, you can just come over here, create the post. here click on schedule find the date and the time you want to do it say you want to do it to this post in a couple hours so we'll just go to and then we'll schedule that so and you can do that as many times as you want so if you want to spend the day just scheduling out posts for the week you can do that you can do it for the day and uh, just run run uh, traffic to your ads and you will also, and your fan page will be automated. So uh, there's, there is that. And uh, next, you're gonna want to uh, once you get about three to four good quality um, posts in your newsfeed. After you got everything set up, um, we can start inviting friends to build our to build their likes to build your audience. So. We'll just click on the invite friends and just go down and invite all the friends you want. So super simple. And uh, that that that's it for that. It's really really simple. Um, I will do another video on how to add tabs to your fan page, and then event, and then we'll talk about uh, running um, light campaigns using Facebook PPC. So we'll also go into who how to set up an ad manager and how to uh, get more get more target quality likes to your page so that's it um, for that I hope you got a lot out of that and uh, till next time I will see you and don't forget uh, to click the link see bonuses I have for you and more info on additional Facebook uh, pay-per-click training and that's it for me have a great day.